In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to change a person's skin into the skin of a reptile, like this one. And so you can see the overlays that I did, or different blending options I performed on Mark Zuckerberg. And so I'll just quickly show the, uh, all the different, um, you know, blends that I did. It, it, it kind of works, you know. It looks really like a zombie, but it, it works. So go ahead and throw down a picture of Mark Zuckerberg or uh, anyone else you want to um, make into a lizard. The next thing you want to do, well actually before you start with the Mark Zuckerberg, we need to make the pattern because I already have the pattern over here made from before. So in order to make the pattern to work with, go to uh, throw down a picture of a lizard, choose the um, uh, cropping option over here, and choose a fixed position of 1 to 1 over here. One, two, one, and I'll go ahead and select this segment over here. This is the same segment I've used before. Now the key thing here is to choose a really big, um, like tile, and make a big, very big crop because the more pixels you have, the more detailed the pattern will will look. And so this is as much as I want to uh, do. Okay, this looks pretty good. But in general, the bigger you make the uh, tile, the more uh, detailed and more um, um, or organic a look on the person you, uh, whenever you use the pattern. So, all right, now that we have this pattern here, first thing you want to do is go to filters, go to enhance and unsharp mask. It'll just make the specific details of this uh, more sharper and others not so. So I went ahead and applied the unsharp mask. So what you need to do is go to filters, go to map, and uh, go to make seamless. And so what this does is make it so that if you uh, tile a bunch of these next to each other, it looks seamless. And so once we have this pattern, you go to file, you go to export as, and I'll call it, I guess, lizard eight, that's fine. Oh wait, 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 before you export it, my bad. Go to, um, let's see, your username, you go to um, game 2.8, you then go to patterns over here, and just uh, save it over here. I'll call it a lizard skin. This is the pattern I've made before. Make sure that the extension is PAT. Now go ahead and export it. And it's going to replace the pattern I've made from before. I said replace. And I'm going to call it a lizard skin. Export. All right, now that we have this exported, you can click the refresh icon over here to see that this uh, tile has indeed been made. Go ahead and close this um, image out. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and get a picture of Mark Zuckerberg I have over here. I'll throw that into the GIMP editor, zoom in just a bit. Go ahead and select the... Um, foreground select tool. I'm gonna select like a general area of where his um, skin is. I'm gonna go ahead just draw over his skin like so. Mind you have continu uh, contiguous selected and the smoothing is at zero and the radius um, the f I have feathering selected with a radius of 40. Um, so go ahead just uh, select the areas of where his skin is and where his skin isn't just use the eraser tool to select them out like that i'll use a smaller brush now i'll zoom in mind you when you zoom in the size of the brush actually becomes smaller that's what i've noticed with the with this tool You want to get like the area around his eyes. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, since we have the feathering, we are allowed to overshoot just a bit. All right, that looks pretty good for the eyes. Now for the mouth, I'll just go over the area like that. There you go. I think that looks uh, that's good enough. 
Yep. Oh, I need to get this area of his head again. All right, I guess this is as good as it's going to be. So go ahead and hit the Enter key to make the selection. And this is how it is. You want to make a duplicate of the layer and add a alpha channel to the first layer. I'm going to inverse the selection and hit the delete key. And this is how, how it looks so far. We can now add the um, uh, pattern that we've made from before to this uh, selection. So go ahead and choose the bucket tool. I've uh, set it to pattern fill. I've already selected the uh, lizard skin and make sure you uh, fill the whole selected area you can also fill a uh, similar colors if you want to go by that way okay okay I see what happened inverse the selection select invert there you go and this is how and this is how it looks it's as good as it's gonna be and then go ahead and by the way if it looks like it's overshooting this is why I like using the bucket fill tool instead of uh, filling the whole selected area it avoids that kind of problem and is a lot sharper so I'll go ahead and uh, do that I'll actually increase the th uh, threshold to 64 go ahead and get those areas it looks yeah this is good enough it's still over sh uh, shot a bit but anyways I'll select none and now the last thing you need to do is go to blending mode and you have a couple of options if you want to use soft light or hard light so hard light uh, looks like this it looks actually pretty good so you have this for soft light you also have the multiply option which looks the best in my opinion and so it shows like his cheeks and such those uh, shades now what if you want this to be like a lighter tone you can go to colors you can go to colorize change the hue back to a green color like maybe over here and you can increase the saturation to make it look like a light green or increase this and uh, decrease the saturation to make it a darker green so maybe like this if you hit the OK key and, and this is how it looks let's say you got areas where you don't want that um, uh, layer like over here uh, how to deal with it is actually simple as long as you have the first layer selected you can go over those areas with the um, what do you call it you know the eraser and make sure the uh, hardness is actually decreased to like 50 so that you know let's say if you overshoot the area it doesn't um, you can actually go over the skin just a bit that's fine like so and it looks um, a lot better see decrease the size for those corners like that and it looks uh, a lot sharper so if you want to do that you also have that option and that's how you apply a lizard skin to a person's face in the game picture editor thank you for listening if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments below I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you have any requests for tutorials, you can also leave those in the comments. And I'd all actually appreciate your feedback on this tutorial on whether, uh, on like uh, techniques that I can improve on and so on. Bye.